This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. There's a bad news for those self-proclaimed social media addicts. Multiple studies from the last year show that too much time spent on your favorite platforms can make you depressed and less satisfied with life. It starts early, too. Even young teens report negative effects from social media obsession. Perhaps you have already sensed a need to pull back. Maybe you have even made a New Year's resolution to spend less time on Facebook or Twitter. Even if you moderate your use, however, you can still make mistakes that have a negative impact on your career and relationships. What should you look out for and what can you do to help yourself? Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about 5 ways social media is ruining your life and how you can help yourself. If you're new here, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notifications bell to get updates whenever we post. So, little time. Seriously, many of us complain about how little time we have to do the things we want to do. Be outside, play sport, work on passion projects, start a business, see friends and family. But if you added all the hours you spend staring onto the screen unless you're doing it specifically for a purpose, we'll get to that in a minute. How much more time do you think you'd have? Honestly, a lot of us already know how much of a negative impact social media is having in our lives. But very few of us seem capable of actually doing anything about it. Since we're naturally tribal and community-based, you'd think this constant connectivity would be a good thing. But aimlessly using social media is leading to depression, and it is getting worse. Here are the 5 ways social media is ruining your life. Number 1. You stop creating before consuming. If you're a content creator, blogger, or entrepreneur, this is especially applicable to you. How easy it is to wake up every morning and scroll your social media feeds before ever lifting a finger to your art, work, or things that bring you joy. When you create content before you consume it, you allow your brain to unleash its inner genius with the freedom to flow in any direction it wants, without getting trapped in the comparison game of everything around you. Number 2. The noise of irrelevant information becomes deafening. How many people and accounts do you follow that are literally just noise to your virtual ears? But if you see and hear it enough, it has the ability to silence the things most important to you. There's nothing worse than giving power to irrelevant people. Number 3. You are constantly comparing your virtual reality screen to your visual reality, real life. How many times have we seen people on dates, at attractions, or just in everyday life, experiencing something incredible before their eyes, but they rather be living in an alternate reality via whatever they're experiencing through their screen? It's as if we're on this never-ending search for more, more excitement, more euphoria, more ecstasy. Because what we currently have is seemingly never enough. A lesson on gratitude another day. Number 4. It affects your attention span and cognitive thinking skills. Studies have shown that this addiction to social media has a direct correlation to our notably shorter attention spans and weaker cognitive skills. The fast-paced technology you are exposed to leads to overstimulation and excessive distraction, all which transpose over to the real world. This incompetent thinking skills are more notable in younger generations, particularly in younger millennials, Gen Z, and Alpha Gen. The recent rise of TikTok, the media platform in which you can post, share, and watch 60-second videos for entertainment, and sometimes educational purposes, has certainly not helped us avoid this constant brain exhaustion. Your mind expects the same fast-paced activity and results with the extremely stimulating and gratifying feel to occur in real life, as it would on the internet and on social media. This unrealistic subconscious desire leads to an increased inability to focus or spend time on tasks away from the screen. Number 5. It can cause major mental health issues. Social media is the infamous culprit of a variety of different mental health issues. What may start as a mild insecurity could eventually snowball into serious mental imbalances, disturbances, or disorders with the excessive and unmonitored use of social media. 
Multiple studies have shown a significant association and how the heavy use of social media can lead to an increase in feelings of anxiety, depression, loneliness, and in worst cases, self-harm or even suicidal thoughts. Many of us turn to social media as a security blanket for when we are feeling particularly lonely or anxious. This allows us to mask underlying mental problems such as depression and anxiety which then lead to FOMO or the fear of missing out. This fear is ingrained in almost all social media users, whether you realize it or not. It gives you a sense of inadequacy, disappointment, and overall dissatisfaction about yourself. You wonder where you went wrong, or what you did so differently what left you with the less glamorous life that what others seem to be having. You then turn to social media all over again and the destructive cycle continues. But hold on! Good news for you! Here's how you can stop social media from ruining your life. Be disciplined. What I can't get my mind around is how people can spend nearly all their spare time scrolling through feeds of people they vaguely remember. Celebrities are worse. They are so interested in the lives of other people that they are not living a life of their own. Think about that for a moment. You must be disciplined with your usage or you will waste the best years of your life sat on your arse in front of a screen. Hardly a great obituary. Be yourself. Do you compare yourselves to others? Why? Is this helping? A big one. Will people be surprised if they meet the real you in person? If you've built something on bullshit, the reality will soon be exposed. Are you creating an idea of what you'd like your life to be like as opposed to what it actually is? Why is it that? If you don't have very good answers, do yourself a favor and get off it. Control what you see. This isn't saying create some sort of blinkered fantasy land or echo chamber that too can have a negative impact. But if you're seeing too much stuff you really don't care about is negative or has zero effect on your life, get rid of it. You're literally polluting your mind. That doesn't mean you should become one-dimensional and close-minded. It's more about avoiding the BS out there. And there's a lot. Unfollow pages, accounts, and people if they're no longer serving the purpose you laid out above and don't feel bad about it. This is your time we're talking about. Be happy with who you are. Simple question. Why can't you just be happy being who you are and enjoy your life? Why do you need to document everything? Do you think other people actually give a shit? Reverse roles and see if you would. If not, don't post it. You're contributing to the pollution and depression. Social media is very powerful and is influencing big events around the world. If this power can be harnessed and used for the greater good, then there's limitless potential. If not, it can be extremely damaging. If you don't make changes now, days, weeks, and years of your life might pass by with nothing to show for it. Nothing to look back on and be proud about. No growth, nothing new. Just sort of delusional image in your head. This is not what life is all about. Once you've reclaimed some of your time by regaining control over your digital habits, go outside. Reconnect with nature and challenge yourself. Reconnect with who you are as a human being. Try new things, pursue that dream, whatever it may be, travel, meet new people, and speak to them face to face. There is no denying that there are more cons than pros when it comes to addiction with social media. On the one hand, digital platforms bring people together, allowing them to keep in touch with family and friends. However, societal pressures can seep through posts. Instagram portrays unrealistic images, while Snapchat shows live highlights and alters face shapes. And while users may not notice these negatively affecting their self-esteem, stress, mood, and overall mental health, the consequences are ever-present. I think it's time for you to back up, enjoy the real world, and appreciate outside your gadget. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anterly and Anterly tokens, check out the links in the description.